Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror series. Cabinet of Curiosities, The Outside. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The story begins with the narrator mentioning late night TV as an electronic cabinet of curiosities, blurring the line between what is inside our head and what is outside. He states that perfection is just a toll-free number away and takes out a remote control after that. He states that this remote is almost like a magic wand, controlling us every single day. Then he mentions today's story, which is called The Outside. We begin with a wide shot of a seemingly friendly neighborhood during Christmas time. We slowly move into a house where a taxidermist named Stacy is dancing and waiting for her food to get heated. She eats her meal while watching TV and keeps shifting the channels between advertisements, tarot card readers, and other such programs. Suddenly, Stacy hears a sound coming from the basement, so she takes her axe and checks it out, suspecting it must be some kind of hormone hunter. A tense sequence follows as Stacy looks around, and she even asks her fox mannequin if it's seen anyone here. Without a foxy answer, she continues her search and dramatically enters the bathroom as well. Stacy doesn't find anyone there, but gets panicked, so she calls her mustached cop husband for help. Cop husband doesn't really care about Stacy's problem because he knows that she keeps doing this all the time and possibly imagining herself being harassed by some muscular and good-looking man. He tells her they're just living in an old house, so she is bound to hear some noises. The next day, Stacy overhears her co-worker, Blonde, sharing with others about a girl who has fake implants. Stacy's attention shifts to Blonde's hands that are applying god lotion all over her body to make her look pretty gorgeous. This makes her envious because she also wants to be desirable, just like Blonde and her blonde body. Later, Stacy is given an invitation to Blonde's secret Santa party and she gets excited about it. Later, she goes hunting and shoots down a duck, after which she performs taxidermy on it so that she can turn it into a present for Blonde. Cop husband enters the house and Stacy tells him she's gotten invited to Blonde's secret Santa party. Cop husband is confused because he thinks that Stacy hates women like Blonde, but she says that she really wants to explore Blonde's house. Cop husband asks Stacy if she wants to eat some chicken wings and watch a Daniel CC movie, but she wants to finish her duck present first. It's time for the party, so Stacy makes her way to Blonde's home and overcomes her aggressive dog. Now, we see one of Blonde's friends talking about getting some hormone therapy from those muscular men. She adds that she's happy to be divorced because she can finally be away from her ex-husband's small and smelly sausage. All the women cheer her on, and then Blonde talks about how her husband's sausage is like a wet spaghetti noodle. Now the women talk about fillers, so Blonde says that everyone should try out her plastic surgeon for facelifts, something that Stacy can't relate to. It's time to share presents, but it's not a Secret Santa theme like Stacy had expected. Blonde gives everyone some expensive makeup kits that include the lotion she was applying earlier. Stacy also gives Blonde her duck gift, but Blonde and her friends are disgusted to see it and start whispering to each other, making Stacy anxious. The women change the subject and apply seemingly the Indian got lotion on their hands, so Stacy does the same out of peer pressure. A hilarious sequence follows, where all the psycho women ridiculously use the lotion all over their bodies. However, the psycho women point out that Stacy's face has become red. Realizing that she is allergic to the lotion, Stacy takes an ice pack from Blonde and leads the party in frustration. Cop husband tells Stacy that she shouldn't go after such lotions, but she says that she has a stupid, ugly face and she wants to be sexy, possibly to attract a hormone hunter. Cop husband tries to cheer her up using his mustache, but it's of no use. Later at night, Stacy is unable to sleep, so she looks at herself in the mirror. The makeup tube suddenly opens up and the lotion starts flowing out of it, while Stacy watches an ad about the same lotion. Things get creepy when the TV presenter, a muscle-shining man named Shiny, starts talking to Stacy and asks her to put the lotion on her face. His female assistant talks about some horrible side effects, such as lack of ambition and loss of individuality, so Stacy starts laughing at the TV. Regardless, Shiny urges Stacy to use the lotion that's just lying around on her table, but she says that her face is itching because of it. Shiny reasons that Stacy's skin is itching because it's healing, and he even says that her current state is not someone anybody would like to be around. Shiny manages to convince Stacy to order more lotion, and then she picks up the tube on her desk to apply some on her face. Stacy's delivery arrives in no time, and she takes the box to her basement so that her husband doesn't see it. The next morning, Stacy sits down to watch cartoons, but her husband notices that her face is looking worse. He tries to explain to her not to use the god lotion, but Stacy has lost all reason, so she asks him to be supportive of her change. Cop husband leaves the house, so Stacy continues with her lotion routine and binge watches Daniel CC movies all day, all night. 
This only makes things worse for her, and she continues to scratch her body, even while sleeping like a pig. Cop husband tells her not to do this because it's harmful, but Stacy repeats what Shiny told her earlier about the lotion working if her skin is itching. Cop husband tells Stacy to wear oven mitts while sleeping, so she goes to collect them downstairs. However, the TV switches on by itself and Shiny appears. He taunts Stacy for not trusting him and the lotion, so he goes away and turns off the TV. Stacy begs him to come back, so he shows his shining muscles again and tricks her into doing as he says. Shiny mentions there's a new version of Stacy growing under her skin, so she becomes hopeful. He simply tells her to use more lotion, so she rushes to the basement to blindly follow his instructions. However, all the tubes in the box open up and leak in front of her, so she runs back to her room and cuddles with her shitty husband. Stacy asks him to stay at home with her the next day, but cop husband says he can't stop his cop duties. Meanwhile, the lotion starts to flow out of the box and forms into a lump of smelly goo. The next day, Stacy takes a look at her ugly face and starts to feel something odd as her skin starts to shed like a mermaid. Later, cop husband comes back home and asks her if she wants something to eat. However, she is too busy peeling off her skin, thinking that she's going to look beautiful now. Cop husband watches TV with his mustache and invites Stacy downstairs to do some smelly exercise, so she finally shows herself. Seeing her infected body worries cop husband, so he asks Stacy to go to the doctor. However, she calls him out for not being a supportive husband and says that she doesn't have an allergic reaction. Cop husband offers Stacy a pay in a blanket to calm her down, and then he tells her there's nothing wrong with the way she looks. This doesn't work on Stacy, and she angrily goes downstairs to get more lotion because she wants to tear off her skin. There, she finds a mysterious figure that is formed from the god lotion in the box. The lotion god mimics Stacy's movements in a creepy fashion, and she is amazed to see this unfold in front of her. The two bodies hold hands and share a kiss without using their tongues, after which they hug each other, implying that the two might have merged into one. Stacy now takes a knife and goes to her husband with lotion all over her body. He panics and tries to remind her of who she really is. Despite cop husband's best efforts, Stacy tells him that he doesn't understand what's wrong with her. She adds that her transformation is almost complete, but cop husband loses his mind, but not lose his mustache, so he tells her to stop this bullshit. This triggers Stacy to stab him in the face, but spare his smelly mustache, and it makes cop husband delusional. He begins to panic as he takes out the knife and starts to bleed. Now, cop husband tries to radio for support, but Stacy kills him from behind by slashing him with her axe. Now as she has become a complete psycho, Stacy goes to the lotion god, which fills up her bathtub. Stacy dips her naked body into the tub of lotion and starts to feel her body tingling with pleasure. Later, she walks out of the tub with lotion all over her body, and it starts to shed away her bad skin. Excited and satisfied, Stacy goes to her husband to show off her new glow, but remembers that she's killed him, so she performs a taxidermy on him as well. With a new outfit and a renewed sense of confidence, Stacy goes to work and catches the attention of Blonde and her friends. They all flock to Stacy like sheep and compliment her beauty, which makes her ego reach a new high. Now Stacy turns into a gossip girl just like Blonde and the women start laughing like crazy weirdos. Stacy feels enlightened to finally be beautiful, but contemplates what she's done to reach this status. The movie ends with her making weird faces at us, hinting that she is still not satisfied with what she has. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.